Hi, this is Nick with DCM Bio. Today I'm going to be going over how to prep a biotech plate washer for a move. If you don't feel comfortable performing any of these steps on your own, feel free to reach out to us at service at dcmbio.com or visit our website dcmbio.com. To prepare a biotech plate washer for a long shutdown, a move, or even just storage, the first step you want to do is run the long shutdown maintenance protocol. That can be found in the maintenance tab and is titled long shutdown. When you select it, it'll prompt you to connect the disinfectant bottle. If we had a valve module installed, it would prompt us to define which valve had the disinfectant, which had the water, and which had the air. This protocol will prompt you, based on your setup for your biotech, to connect a disinfectant buffer bottle, a water buffer bottle, and an empty air buffer bottle. Essentially what the system is going to do is it'll prime and wash everything with a disinfectant to clean it all out, water to make sure that there is no residual disinfectant left over at the end, and then air to clear the lines, dry them a bit, and get it ready for that shutdown. The on-screen prompts will ask you to either connect individual bottles if you do not have a valve module, or if a valve module is installed, will tell you which valve needs to be assigned to which buffer bottle. The disinfectant we'd be using in this case is a half a percentage of bleach in DI water. Once everything is connected, simply press start and the system will begin running. Once the long shutdown protocol is complete, you can park the manifold and secure it for shipping. To do this, open the Utilities menu, Setup, scroll over to More, and we're going to select Park. What this does is parks the manifold down within the trough and acts as a protection measure to keep the pins from getting damaged during shipping. Once we've reached the park position, simply hit Main Menu, and you're ready to remove your plate carrier. You'll want to package this separately. The next step is to install the shipping bracket onto the front of the washer to secure the manifolds in place. This is found on the back side of the washer and held in place by two 3.5 millimeter Allen screws. Once you've got your shipping bracket, you can secure it in place to the manifold. With the manifold in the park position, you can raise it up and down to make loading the shipping bracket easier. Align the bottom manifold pin and then the top manifold pin and lower both manifolds down until the shipping bracket rests on the bottom screw mounts. Once there, secure in place with the screws that were holding the shipping bracket onto the back of the instrument. The manifold secured in place, you're ready to shut down the instrument, disconnect all the lines, and package it up for shipping. Be aware, the long shutdown protocol does take a good amount of time. We recommend setting aside a few hours to run through each individual step and allow the washer to dry before shipping. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, put them in the comments below. To see additional how-to lab automation videos and to check out our service options, visit dcmbio.com. If you have more in-depth questions or need to contact us about servicing your equipment, send an email to service at dcmbio.com. You can find links to our LinkedIn, email, and website below in the description.